everyone! Welcome back to the Midway Bible Camp Craft Shop. Our memory verse this week may sound familiar. It's Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Jesus wants us to tell other people about him. So today we're going to make a noisy craft because we want to be noisy for Jesus, a good noisy. So you're going to need a balloon, a spoon, a bowl of water, some flour, scissors, and newspaper. So we're gonna first start by cutting up some newspaper. So I'm gonna cut it about three quarters inch thickness. And this is a little bit too long for me, so I'm just gonna cut that in half. And there we've got some strips. Just cut off the end here. Now I'm gonna take my balloon and I'm gonna blow it up and I'm gonna make a small shaker. So I'm gonna blow it about this big. And to tie your balloon, you wrap it around your fingers and then you stick it in between the two. So it comes right through there and knot it like that. Next, we're gonna take the bowl of water and the flour. We're gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna try with two teaspoons here and see if that works. And we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna try and make a nice paste here to do our paper mache shaker. So I'm just gonna keep mixing it until all the little chunks are gone. So this will be a messy craft. You might wanna have some paper towel nearby in case your hands get dirty. They will get dirty. All right, I think I got most of the chunks out. So now we're gonna take one of our strips and we're gonna dip it in the paper mache solution and take off the extra. And then we're just gonna wrap it around our balloon. And I'm gonna keep doing that and wrap the entire balloon. Go and make disciples in every nation. Proclaim the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Teach them all the things I've taught you to love and trust in God. And I am with you always, even till the end. There you go. You can see I've covered almost the whole thing at least one time and you're going to want to cover it at least three times with three layers. So I'm going to need to cut some more strips. If you find your solution isn't working very well you can mix it up because the flour likes to sink to the bottom and if it's still not working feel free to add some more flour, make it a little bit thicker, make your paper mache strips stick on better. First disciples followed him about Jesus, follow him and change the world, this is what they said, go and make disciples of every nation.
we go. I've got three layers on my balloon. Now I'm just gonna set it somewhere sunny to dry and we'll be back in a little while to finish it off. So I waited an hour for my balloon to dry and as you can see, it is not dry yet. Um, but I'm running out of daylight so I'm gonna show you how to do this and I hope it doesn't break. What you should do is wait until it's completely dry, then you cut the balloon. Whoop, there goes the air, pull it out. Now, you want to fill it with something. I forgot to include this in your materials, but I have some old beads, so I'm gonna fill it with some beads. But you could use some corn kernels, you could use some rice, any little little toys. You could get some rocks from outside, just put some gravel in there. Anything small and hard will make a good shaker. So I'm just gonna take a piece of paper here, wrap it up to make a little funnel, or else my beads aren't gonna go in that little hole. Gonna pour some beads in there. Maybe a few more. Oh, they're still in here, that's why. They got stuck in my funnel. Well, hopefully your funnel works a little bit better than my funnel. There we go, now I got some beads in there. Now we're gonna have to seal up the hole. So I'm just gonna put a couple more beads in there. Now you still have your paper mache stuff out. So you're going to do a couple more pieces to seal up the hole. And I realized that my pieces were too thick before, so I made some skinnier pieces that make the outside a lot smoother. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you seal up the hole really well, otherwise you're gonna have beads falling out. So I'm gonna cover the hole completely. You know, I guess I don't need the pieces to be this long because I'm just covering a tiny hole. So I ripped my pieces in half. I covered it once, and I'm gonna cover it again because I don't wanna lose any beads. I think that's pretty good. So there we go. Now I'm just gonna put it somewhere to dry. And then when it's all dry, you can get out your paint or your markers and you can color it however you'd like. And you'll have a nice little shaker that you can make music with. Thanks for joining me. Bye.